everybody welcome back to the crazy place so camping season for us is about to begin and before I pulled it out of the shop um, I told Jess that I'd like to do a review on the wheel chocks that we use to try and help stabilize our trailer uh, we have a 30 foot toy hauler and if you do a lot of camping you know whenever somebody gets up in the morning the camper rocks back and forth even though your stabilizers may be down and sometimes that gets annoying um, so what we picked up last year are some X chocks you can find these on Amazon and I believe they were 60 70 bucks these go between the wheels on your trailer and uh, it's supposed to help the trailer from uh, rocking forward and backwards motion so what I have done, I'm very, very curious myself. This trailer right now is parked in the shop. Obviously, I'm sweating, so we don't have the air conditioner going or anything yet. We just started on this today, basically. And right now, the stabilizers are up, but our trailer is level. I have a glass of water set up on the sink, and I'm going to put the Osmo Pocket on that glass of water and show how much that glass of water will shake just as I walk through this trailer without the stabilizers down. Then I will put the stabilizers down. We will check it again. Then we will put these on the wheels and find out what this trailer does on level ground with the stabilizers down and the wheel chocks in place. So. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm very, very curious myself to see what happens. And here we go. Okay, so I've got the stabilizers up and the wheel chocks are not on the wheels. I'm standing in the bedroom right now. Now I'm gonna walk on through here. Okay, so now the stabilizers are down on the trailer. We are on a concrete pad in a shop. The stabilizers are down and the trailer is level. So let's see what that cup of water does now. Okay, so definitely with the stabilizers down, you can tell a difference. Uh, if you do a lot of camping, obviously when your stabilizers are up, the trailer moves a lot. Now we got the stabilizers down, and I'm going to place these X chocks in between the wheels, and I'm going to tighten them up fairly snug. We're going to do this again, see what the cup of water does. And that's going to be our review. That's going to be the uh, the main test. Right there is the verdict. So, uh, so far we feel these things work really well. So, we're going to find out. Here we go. Okay, so right here is the x Chalk by, by BAL. You can buy these on Amazon for approximately $60 to $70 a set. You place these between your wheels, tighten it up with the wrench, and get it good and snug so that the uh, trailer, uh, so that it helps with the uh, the rocking. Okay, so the x chocks are between the wheels. Stabilizers are down. Trailer does feel stable right now. Let's find out. Here we go. Okay, there you go. That was our review slash test of the x uh wheel stabilizers for a camping trailer. So, we're going to find out the Osmo Pocket was filming the water the whole time, which you could see in the camera was placed on the sink. I made the same steps back and forth 
uh, from the bedroom to the back of the trailer and back into the bedroom. So we're going to see what this uh, cup of water does. I'm very curious myself of what the uh, video picks up on the cup of water. I appreciate you all watching this. I hope this helps um, if you decide to buy these wheel stabilizers. Hopefully it helps you all on camping trips and people don't get up in the middle of the night and start rocking the camper back and forth. So uh, anyway, there was. Thank you all. Uh, appreciate it and uh, happy camping.